Hi there. I am making um, a gift. I'm going to make a gift out of this piece of wood here. This will not be your uh, ordinary video here on this, uh, this channel. I try to upload outdoor stuff, you know, and... Um, oh. Can you hear that? Yeah, they are uh, building, so they are blasting out the hillside. You know, not a big fan of that. I found my glow to clean out the gutters here as well. So I'll put it there. And I seem to have forgotten my little axe. Here it is. My little axe. <laughs> okay, are you still there? I have uh, roughly shaped this uh, little piece of wood here into something a little bit more round. And I'm going to make a bowl out of it. I'm, I'm not following any pattern like any particular pattern just just making something you know uh, you can keep uh, some uh, candy in a bowl or some I don't know chocolate or uh, fruit or whatever um, yes okay um, let's see now I need a proper tool for the job so actually this is a leftover piece from a, uh, a longbow that I made some time ago uh, and uh, it's Elm, E-L-M and uh, even if I say what kind of wood I'm using people still ask in the comment section I'll say it again, it's Elm <laughs> um, as the take takedown bow that I made, it was also Elm. Um, it's uh, my favorite wood for making bows. And let's see, here it is. Okay. It is very hard, you know, but I think we'll be okay. What I would like to say is that there are many ways to connect with nature many ways I find that woodworking is one of them you are working with uh, what they call you know a, a living material even though the tree itself is dead no <laughs> the tree is not dead this is uh, as always just a branch of the tree so the tree is not dead. I think it's 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 not necessary to chop down entire trees to make bows or you know other small objects, you know. I'm going <clears throat> across the grain. Uh, and you shouldn't go with the grain because then you will lift up the whole piece here and that's no that will ruin the whole bowl uh, it's uh, it's very dense at the core because there's a twig right here Okay, so I have hollowed out the, most of the bowl. I'm just tidying it up a little bit. I don't want to make it too thin, but I can I can hollow it out a little bit more. And the grain is going to come out when I sand it. So I am rounding off the 
corners here a little bit and it's such a uh, hard wood so I'm using <coughs> the chisel and my mallet is that what I call it? a mallet you can see the grain coming out when I sand it so I'm going to sand off some parts here, but I'm going to keep as much as possible of these tool marks here. Beautiful. So I want it to be uneven and you know to look natural but still you know smooth so um, <laughs> um, yeah I'm trying to remove some of these tool marks but I'm leaving some and that's that's how I like it you know so, It shouldn't look like it comes from some kind of factory. It certainly will not. <laughs> this is the best part, you know, when you apply the linseed oil. I use some kind of food oil in um, in this part of course so that it will be food safe <laughs> so here it is a small elm tree bowl <laughs> made out of a leftover piece from you know one of my bow building projects I think it's quite beautiful actually. You can see the different colors and yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. I'm, I'm going to wrap it in bubble wrap now and send it to, to my friend. <laughs> 